Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, Villa Sync. So this video I should have done several days ago, but turns out I tried to upload one, didn't work, so we're just going to go over the information again. And that is we have a Herndig Fusion. It's a new traditional fusion, which is okay because any Lego that you can go for is a good Lego. A free Lego, if you're able to do it within your means, is good. Um, only problem is, there's really good epics in this fusion. Now, the rares situation is, it's all new rares that we have to ascend, get to 40. We have to make these four brand new epics that are really good, potentially better than the dwarf, more helpful than the dwarf. Put resources into them, energy, time, potions, just to get Herndig. So we will need to get four of the same champion, just to make Hofferies, Skathix, Gori, and Seedhawk, the epics in this case. Uh, they always do say it, that any legendary is a good champion, if you can get him. But if we take a quick look, Seedhawk, he looks okay. He's not, he doesn't necessarily float the boat too much, decrease defense or decrease speed. In case attack before he does an AOE move, also chance of breaking their defense, and he gives himself increased crit rate, increased crit damage, and it has a 100% chance when you book it, chance of putting up decreased speed in the target for two turns. So, increased attack buff for two turns, like I say, breaking defense, and crit rate crit damage. So, on moves on him are okay, but they're not brilliant. Gori, when it comes to this fusion, a brand new epic Shuriken faction. They are releasing faction wars relatively soon, I would think. We do have a lot more champions coming f into this faction. So, if you have dwarfs that kind of do what he does, then why not just go for this epic instead? We get his passive. How to attacks with the cold comfort. Whenever an enemy places certain debuffs on an ally. Okay, A3 ignores increased defense and shield buffs. Will also ignore 50% of the defense if under a freeze. Counter attack, crease attack if it kills an enemy. And as you guessed it, he basically puts up freezes. So and once we have cold comfort here, an extra hit if the target is under a freeze debuff. But keeping in mind if there's other debuffs, stun, sleep, freeze, etc. Provoke, fear, true fear. This pretty much counterattacks straight away. The place to freeze up, which will then en en enable him to just go by the defence, go by the shield buffs. So he's okay. He might be a lot more useful to your account. It's a lot less resources to use. We've had a lot of fusions lately. So if I... In a sense, if you don't need to go for the Dwarf, get rid of four good epics. Just look at Brogni, look at Vergumkar, there was Fane, there was Caden. A lot of people just took the epic and not the legendary, and I don't blame them because I did the same. We have Skathix and the Lizardmen. Decrease speed in the A1. Deal buffs in the A2. Block debuffs in the shield in the A3, but the passive makes him pretty much unkillable. Put him in a team where somebody is healing now and again, then he's fine. If his HP drops below 30%, he places a block damage. Don't need accuracy, it just happens, it's a passive. On a 6 turn cooldown, but that is the reason why he can help you greatly in Lizard Man. Especially if you have Broadmoor, then the two as a pair could be very good and uh, the one champion i myself have chosen to go for above everybody else including the dwarf all i want is the hippo all i want is the hungry hippo how cool is this hippo good looking weapon it just looks pretty badass for a hippo it's the first time i've ever seen a hippo in this game he is forced support epic. 
and I stun on the A1, increase attack, increase crit rate on all allies on the A2, but this is the bread and butter, skillwalkers need revivers. To beat the faction it's so difficult, if you don't have steel skull, you then need flesh terror and hack on smash lord to do heals and cleanse and stuff. Basically, if you have a reviver, you don't need them to. Just taking steel skull, taking this champion, taking broadmaw, then you have all the support you need. So revive two allies with 50% HP, gives them a turn meter boost at 50%. After they've been revived, they get a strength and buff. Everybody does. So if you revive two allies, you then gifts the other people that's alive a strength and buff, which means 25% less damage taken on attacks. As well as bringing a resist aura in all battles by 40%. So the question is yes, the dwarf is pretty good. He can smack. Decreases turn meter, has a weaken, a HP burn, decreased defense, decreased accuracy. If this kills someone, he lowers stasis strike by two turns. You know, fills his turn meter every time he gets hit, or if an ally dies, fills his turn meter. So he is really good and he will be good for the faction. But I have Brogni, I have Melda, I've got Rockbreaker, I've got a few dwarfs that I don't really need to waste my materials as far as going for this legendary. Now when we look at these four champions at the bottom, as you will see, it used to be champions that were in the game. That's why we kept a version of most champions, because if there was a fusion, we were able to take them out of the vault, get them leveled up, use them for a fusion. Nowadays, what they do is they make really good champions, like the four epics. Three out of four are really good. They then get rares that are okay, but nothing really that you're going to break the bank for. You have to use resources to get the rares. You then have to use more resources to level them up and ascend them. And after you've done all that, you have to crunch them into an epic that you have to do all that again. So you're wasting, you're putting a lot of potions in the rares alone, just to then put better potions into the epics. Now when you've done all that with the epics, this is 16 rares into 4 epics, it's a lot of potions, a lot of time, a lot of energy, you know, like a lot of things, you could be going for the hippo, you could be going for scathix, and saving your resources than this one because Herndig is good but I just don't think Herndig is more valuable than the epics in this case I think the epics for maybe 90% of the player base will have more use when we have newer players or players just like maybe below level player level 50 they will need whole freeze to revive their Fasimor's team Skathix might be good in arena you've got Gore may be good also with the fees. So why waste resources and crunch all of them? Now if you watch BGE he will tell you how much potions that you will need for all the rares and all the epics because you're crunching all these good rares if they're good. The four oh sorry the rares then you crunch the epics into this dwarf. Are you really going to use the dwarf? I have enough legendary champions unbooked that I really don't need to have somebody else that can read take books up. All he's going to do is set on my account and not get used. And for most of the player base that aren't spending money, that are casual playing it, that aren't really hardcore like the other 10%, they're going to have no use for them. So. My advice in this one is, if you want Herndig, go for him, but otherwise, go for an epic that will help you out. Hell, go for two rares, keep a spare rare if you want to. Some They're not great, but depending where you are, be a lot more help to your account than using all of these resources just to get a dwarf that's going to sit for a long time 
until you get books, until you get the energy, then the potions, you know, then you get the team around them. It's going to take a lot of effort, a lot of time, and quite frankly, I'm just going for the hippo. That's all I want in this one. Now, if we look at, quickly we can look at this. We have events on, and I have three rares for the hippo already. I've done dragon. I've done Artifact Enhancement, and I've done whatever the first one was. Now, is this no Champion Chase? Oh, no, okay, my apologies. We need to go into Events. We should have a Champion Training event. Now, my Colossus is around 5,000 points. He's the extra rare that I need. If this loads up within time, and if I get him, I can basically fuse Hopefully he's the test. Come on, load up. I'm on a tight budget here. So it's 14,000 points, but we're not doing 40,000 points. If I go 5,000 points, I can get my colos. But if I take some champions and I get to 10,650, which I'm considering doing, I can get Hofuris and I can use my colos and the other rares Diffuse Scathix, and that for me, my friends, will be it. I really do not see the point taking another LEGO champion that I don't have books for. Just like Brogni is on books, just like there's some books missing from Brachus, books missing from Drekstar, there's books missing from Razin, Hakorn, Skartorses, Whirlum, Elagaius, Krila, Tila, Ultan, Ruel. So, we can kind of see, you will see, we see the pattern here. I'm not bashing the, the Legendary Dwarf by any means, he's good. I've seen videos, he can do damage, but for my account, and for how much resources I want to use, what I think will benefit me is the Hippo, and potentially a second Epic. And, just be aware guys, that if you go for the Dwarf, it will be labor intensive, it's going to take a lot of resources. Make sure that you want to have them. If you're a bit earlier in the game, if you're a bit newer to it, you might just be happy with the rares, you might be happy with the one epic. And if that's the case, just stop there, save your resources. There's no harm in not going for a fusion every time. This is just Playdium's way of getting you to put your hand in your pocket. We don't need to fall for that. So guys, we have a fusion, I'll be going for the Hippo, I may grab a second, it might be Skathix or the Shadowkin champion, because quite frankly I think that will benefit my account better, and it's just a word, word of warning, if you want the Dwarf it's fine, but otherwise, you're crunching brand new champions that look really good, and you don't even get to try them just for a dwarf that affect pretty much where most champions will sit around do nothing you won't get used you won't get booked so be aware of your resources guys and go for the champions you feel will help your account and help you progress and that you'll be happy with uh, you've heard my take on it what's your take what champion are you going for stick a comment in Say you're going for the Hippo, you're going for the Lego, are you not going for the Fusion whatsoever? Be great to hear some different opinions on it. And quite frankly, I cannot wait to get my Hippo because he looks so sweet. So guys, thanks for tuning in and watching the video. It's always great to have you around. Stay safe, keep on reading, and I will see you on the next one.